Well, today I'm going to show you how to vacuum pack cheese for maturation or storage. Now, what I'm using here is a Sunbeam Food Saver. Now, this is a basic vacuum pack machine that you can pick up. Pretty simple. You simply open it up um, and there's a roll of plastic film, the, the, the packaging that goes in there, and you feed it through. And across the top, there's a little slider that cuts the plastic. So you'd measure out how much plastic you need. Then you slide the little slider across, across and it cuts the plastic. There you go. Now, you have to seal one end, obviously, before you put in your cheese to mature it. So you turn it down to the operate and then press the seal button. And there's a heat strip that uh, basically joins the two pieces of plastic together. So you can see that seal there across the one end of the plastic. Now I've got some uh, Leicester cheese here I'm going to store that. I cut a wheel open and there's another video coming out very soon that'll have this in it and the remaining cheese is vac packed for storage. So it's fully matured already, I don't want it to mature anymore, so I'm going to basically put this into the kitchen refrigerator. So you line it up into the vacuum channel. Uh, having a bit of trouble here, I <laughs> join the cheese together. So you flatten the plastic, the entrance, put it into the vacuum channel, push it down, put the switch to operate. Now I'm going to select um, the moist setting, because there's still a bit of moisture in the cheese. So leave it on normal and then basically let it go. And you can hear the machine sucking all the air out of the bag there. The good thing about vacuum packing is that it is so simple, as you can see here, and it's actually sealing now. All by itself, there's the control panel. So it's finished sealing, and that cheese is now ready for long-term storage. Now we've kept cheese up to over a year uh, just like this in the normal refrigerator just vacuum sealed and there's the the seal there you can see so that'll keep so i'll just mark that now there's a white strip on the side which you'll see in a second there it is there so i just get a permanent marker put the date that the cheese was made and the type of cheese Now, as you can see, that's the side bar that uh, you put down to, op uh, to operate. Now, what I'm doing at the moment, I'm just sealing one end. I'm going to uh, vacuum pack a quarter of a cheese here now. So I've sealed one end, and then I cut the other end off. So there's the quarter of the cheese. That is a Cotswold, which I have a taste test video coming up very soon as well. So you pop it in. Now what happens if you make a mistake? Now I've made a mistake here, I've pressed the wrong button. So I've actually sealed it without vacuum, without sucking all the air out of the bag. Now I've tried to recover and it didn't work, so basically you can see there's no air coming out at all and it's sealed itself. There's an error light on the seal and we have a seal and that's not good. So it's pretty easy to recover from. All I went and did and it's got a pair of scissors and you cut as close to the seal as you can. You don't want to waste too much plastic. Now this plastic is uh, number four plastic, which is readily um, recyclable. And you can put it into your, if you still have shopping bags, um, wherever it takes shopping bags to recycle. Anyway, so now I'm going to, and now I can <laughs> move the cheese around a little bit more and I can make a proper seal. So I'm just trying to get that flat and level. There we go. So close it, push it down to operate and press the right button. So this is vacuum and seal, not just the seal button. You can see it's working quite well. Sucking all the air out. and it's sealing it in, pro in the process.
there we go so that's perfectly sealed there's my Cotswold and you can see it's saved and like I said you can keep a cheese like this for up to a year if not more uh, and uh, I'm going to keep that at 4 degrees Celsius that's my wife giving it a big thumbs up there and there's all the cheese that I vacuum packed in less than half an hour so very simple uh, and easy to use great way to mature your cheese if you don't like to wax your cheese thanks for watching